and welcome to this broadcast brought to you by Aspen Avionics. I'm Tyler Kern. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, we're obviously extremely disappointed we won't be seeing any of you at Oshkosh 2020 this year, but we hope that this broadcast helps make up for that in a small way. Now, today here on the broadcast, we're going to be diving into the new Aspen Pro Max, and we're going to talk about the trade-in feature for this new program. We're also going to dive into some of the enhancements and the benefits of this program. Now, joining me here on the broadcast today is Corey Relling. He's an international sales manager at Aspen Avionics, and Andy Smith. He's an inside sales manager at Aspen Avionics. So, Corey and Andy, thank you so much for joining me here today. Andy, I'm going to turn it over to you. Take it away. So I take a moment and uh, thank everybody for coming. I know it's it's a busy time to sit down and, and watch a presentation, but uh, I want to just say thank you for, for taking time out of your day and, and joining me. We were all sad and I think we speak, I speak for everybody that, that when we found out that Oshkosh was being canceled, that um, it was a big disappointment because Oshkosh is it's bigger than a, just a, an air show convention. It, it's, it's more sometimes a family reunion. Guys have been going there for decades, and, and um, you know, I'm going to miss it. So uh, next year, I'm, I'm really looking forward to going and seeing everybody ag again. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump in to this presentation real quick here. Um, it's going to be fairly, fairly quick because I want to leave a lot of time for your guys' questions at the end. So... I'm just going to go through why should I trade in my unit, the, the key differences between what we did with the legacy unit and the new max units, both on the PFD and, and the MFD side, and then um, pricing, timing, and process on how to get it. And then um, at the end there, we're just going to open up and, and uh, do some, do some uh, questions in real time for you guys to talk about your aircraft and and uh, your specific uh, applications to you. So there we go. So why trade in my unit? Um, this unit, the MAX unit is a brand new unit. Um, everything internally is literally touched or, or swapped out, right? Um, the only thing that, that stays the same is the front bezel and the back canister. We, when, um, we re redesigned it. We just cracked it open and did all the new internals to it. So we have a new, a new sensor board that runs much cooler than the previous generations do. Um, the new processor that's about uh, four times faster than what the legacy stuff is. So just think about it. Right now in the legacy units, you have about um, a 2012 computer technology in it, right? What we did is we put it and we brought it up to 2019, 2020 computer technology. So you can understand the leaps and bounds that, uh, that the industry, that industry has had over the last eight to 10 years, right? Um, new graphics card inside it. We went from 16,000 colors to 16 million. So a lot more colors than we'll ever need, but it, it really gives us the ability to, um, do some fun things and, and do some gradients with with the different colors on there. Um, a byproduct of that gives you a brighter, clearer, higher resolution screen. Um, and, you know, it has, it, it, the screen is just, just beautiful compared to the two. And, and I've always thought that Aspen had a, our, our units had a, a great screen already. And this just goes up and beyond that, right? The, the new unit also comes with a new brand new uh, two year warranty from the factory. So um, if you're in warranty, it gets added to your existing warranty. If you're out of warranty, it not only puts you back into the warranty cycle so that you can continue to upgrade and buy the extended warranty, but it gives you that two years. A uh, new piece of glass that goes on the front, um, I'm gonna be honest, at first, I thought the glass was glass, but it's not. Um, to, uh, it, it really is. It really is a big deal. The piece of glass there, so it helps with uh, you know clarity, and it is really a difference between the legacy stuff and and this new Max stuff. Um, we went to a GPS aided AHARS, so. Um, all, all the guys' legacy out there, and it's well documented, it's even in your, your, your POH and everything, is that 
there is a single point failure on the on the legacy stuff, right? With the pedo blockage, be it most commonly it's ice, right? But um, it could be a bug or water or a kink line or anything like that. With the new Max unit, um, if that if that event happens with the with the pedo blockage and you lose your pedo input, it actually looks at the GPS um, and references the GPS. So it eliminates the single point failure within the system right there. So that, that redundancy and safety factor that, that the max gives you is, uh, is and if you've had the failures, is quite honestly one of the, um, you know, it's worth the money right there. So, and then everybody's been asking this for, for, uh, for a long time, but actual audio callouts, right? And this is actually a, a voice oral alarm. Um, a lot of guys out there have the piezo alarm that goes beep, 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 beep when you reach your altitude or your airspeed, um, you know, minimums, whatever bug that you set on the on the legacy stuff, it's just a piezo alarm or a sauna alert, right? So with the with the max unit, we were able to uh, actually do an audio output. So you'll hear approaching minimums and minimums or altitude, altitude, as you reach your altitude or when you deviate it, deviate from it, it's gonna alert. So you'll know exactly what is, is going on rather than, oh, beep, 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 what, what is it warning me for, right? So it, it's great. And that goes for terrain. If you have the synthetic, we have terrain and obstacle stuff, uh, warnings when you have synthetic vision and then also uh, airspeed uh, based off your airspeed bug. And then uh, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but on the MFD with the timers, you'll have a uh, timers expired warning as well. So the enhancement. So on the previous slide, that's everything that, that you don't see as part of the upgrade. And then, and quite honestly, about 90% of the upgrade is hardware. Um, but there is some software um, enhancements that, that you will see. On, on the front side of this. So one of the big ones here is the far, uh, font enlargement um, or bubble text, if you have I've heard it called that, where whatever, whatever area that you're editing, right, what it's gonna do is it's gonna put that big box around it, make it about one and a half times bigger and, and highlight it. As you can see, the altitude in, in this particular picture is, um, is the one that's gonna be edited and it, it's highlighted. So that's a lot, uh, it's a lot easier to discern what you're editing at a glance, right? Uh, be it heading or course. Um, your airspeed bug up in the, the upper left-hand corner there does the same thing, your barometer. And um, not pictured here, but you can see where your minimums, uh, your minimum bug would be set right there below that glide slope indication. So um, that's part of the software enhancement there. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison. It's a screenshot of, on the left, we have the new Max unit. And on the right, we have, that's the legacy. And this shows us the synthetic vision. And what it does, it's, um, it's a clear, brighter, higher resolution screen. But this, show, this picture actually really shows um, what we're able to do with all those colors that we have now, okay? Um, the gradients are better, and with the faster processor, it's actually going to be a lot smoother, right? Um, if you have synthetic vision already, you can kind of notice that there, it's a little twitchy at some point, especially in, when it's trying to draw some of the, the more detailed terrain. Um, but with the higher, proce higher the faster processor and the, um, the better colors, you can see that on, on that left-hand screen, there's a lot more detail to it. So it just kind of gives you an idea of, of the quality in the upgrade that you're gonna get with the max unit. So on the MFD side of uh, things um, on the software, so I wanna point out, so everything we did hardware wise that I went over on that, on that second slide there, we did on the MFD. So um, faster processor, better screen, um, you know, in the MFD 1000s, it's a new sensor board, just like on the, on the PFDs for your AHARs and everything. Um, so we did all the hardware stuff as well on the MFD. 
So this is what you're looking at as far as software stuff. So on your moving map, um, you're going to have the AGL readout right there in the bottom right hand corner. And that's going to be on, it doesn't matter if you're half screen, full screen um, on your, on your nav map, whatever, uh, it'll be there. So you have a quick glance and you'll be able to see the AGL. Okay. On the bottom half there, you have timers, right? So you have, you have three different independent uh, pilot usable settable timers right there. And you can use that for any, anything from switching fuel tanks, to um, turbo cool downs, to uh, ATC telling you check in with me in 10 minutes, you, know, you can set that timer. And there's gonna be an audio alert that comes over that says timer, right? And that timer is gonna remind you, oh, call ATC back, all right? They want, they want to talk to me, you know, they're too busy to talk to me 10 minutes ago, but now, now it's time to talk to them, okay? You got your flight timer on there based off of, um, your your gps ground speed so once you get i don't know what the threshold is but but it's going to give you a flight timer to kind of give you an idea and then you got your departure time uh in zulu there as well for for a reference as far as the, as part of the timer page so here's a here's a screenshot of the um of the moving map uh full page here on the mfd so one of the things that we did is an intercept arc or altitude intersect um, however you want to do it. Boeing banana is what I've heard it called. And this is going to be based on what altitude that you've dialed in on your PFD. Okay. And it'll show, it'll also show um, on your PFD as well on your HSI, this, this arc here, right? So you, you dial in 9,000 feet, right? What that's going to do, and this is a dynamic thing, so it's going to move based on your current vertical speed, right? So it's going to give you an idea when you are going to reach that altitude on this moving map. So if you have uh, train avoidance or um, intersection, you know, you have to be at such and such altitude at, at, at an intersection, it's going to give you an idea when you're going to be there. Uh, one of the big things that it also used for is is pattern altitude. So you can dial in your pattern altitude, and and uh, know that you're going to make it to that altitude prior to entering enter, entering the pattern. Okay. We did METAR flags um, on the navigation map. It's not really shown here, but it's um, the actual flags aren't here. But we added METAR flags. But you do have uh, NEXRAD and METAR information uh, displayed there in the lower left-hand corner. And then another depiction of what the uh, AGL readout is on the full screen. So just quick glance, about 4,100 feet. Kind of a, a unique thing because we were able to do the, the dual aided AHARs. Um, and then now it, it alleviates the fact that it has a single point failure. Um, you can add an MFD to an existing PFD um, uh, after upgrading, they will have to be max upgrades or max units, excuse me. But you can add the MFD 1000 and get rid of all your backups. So no more pneumatic backup um, are required with the 2000, the Evolution 2000 system. Um, it, it, really, it really cleans up the panel, right? I mean, you can go, from a full six pack down to just two units in front of you. And it just cleans up the panel and, and really consolidates your scan into one, one little area, right? It reduces the cost of repairs of mechanical analog instruments. Um, I'm primarily speaking about vacuum gyros and vacuum systems right there. Um, I know altimeters can be fairly expensive as well, but, but um, I mean, if you've, ever replaced a vacuum system or an attitude gyro, you know, you can run into the thousands um, just for that. And adding the MFD to the system, it, it increases the overall situational awareness. And that's what an MFD does in, in general, as you know, when you, uh, when you add more information for you as a pilot in front of you, it gives you a lot more uh, information to, to help you navigate safely. 
So our new trade in trade up program. Okay. Um, uh, this, this program is especially designed for, for everybody that has a legacy unit. And what we are doing is we are, we are giving you $4,500 for your legacy unit. Um, and it doesn't matter if it, if it is one, one of the originals, you know, serial number 006, you know, from 2008, um, we will give you $4,500. And what we're going to do is we are going to send you a brand new max unit, not a rebuild, not a, you know, not a refurbished, not, not a, it's a brand new unit. Um, and it's going to give you all the benefits that I noted earlier in the presentation. Okay. So simple, simple process. You're going to call up your local dealer and, and, and just tell them, Hey, I want a new max and I want a new max unit. I want to take advantage of this trade in trade up program. And I'll, I'll cause I want the benefits The dealers then going to request uh, send a request to us. We run it through the factory under an RMA so that there's traceability um, of, of both units in and out for you. Um, um, and then that we we're able to get one coming to your dealer. You will be able to continue to fly. There's no downtime on the aircraft up until the, the dealer gets the, um, gets the unit. Then he's going to give you a call and say, it's time to swap this out. Let's do this, and then you fly in and, and generally fly out within the same day. Okay. These new um, trade trade to new or trade up units are are shipping now. Um, we have just now worked through our extensive backlog of the of the other program that we did about a year ago, and right now we'll we're running about a seven to ten day um, turn time to get these new units in. So. Um, it has been a, a substantial um, time to to reduce there, and it, it's it's ready to go here. Pricing um, so single display is going to run you fifty four ninety five, and um, we have included synthetic vision as part of the upgrade as well, right? We we kind of really understand that synthetic vision in today's in today's market and today's atmosphere is is very beneficial to everybody both um, as a pilot and, and, you know, really as a safety tool as you fly. So we've, we've included that as part of the upgrade. Um, you know, the two system ends up being seventy nine ninety five, and we're going to put, we're going to put the uh, synthetic vision on both of those screens. And then the 2500 system is ninety four ninety five. And again, if you don't have synthetic vision on those screens, um, We'll, we're going to add it to them. We're going to we're going to include that in the upgrade. Now, this last one, this this uh, ten nine nine five price point, is for gentlemen out there or guys out there that um, want to add an MFD to their system to either clean up their panel or they've always wanted to do it. Um, wanted to get rid of your vacuum system, like I was talking about a little bit earlier, and and you want to add it. What this does for ten nine nine five is going to give you a brand new MFD 1000 and a brand new PFD when you send back your core, right? So we're going to give you your credit for 10995, right? This is going to include the synthetic vision on the MFD and PFD. We're going to put the angle of attack on the MFD for you guys, which is a great, great feature for, um, for you guys out there, again, safety's first. Safety is really number one for us. And then depending on your ADS-B in solution, we'll be able to display traffic and weather on your MFD. Again, always trying to increase your situational awareness and safety when you're in the skies, right? So for the guys out there that, that have always wanted an MFD or just waiting for the right time to do the MFD, uh, this is a great opportunity for you guys to um, to do that and clean clean up things and get that extra equipment in your aircraft. All right, I hope you enjoyed that presentation on the Aspen Pro Max. And now we're entering into the Q&A portion. So if you found that you had a question during that presentation, you can actually submit questions down in the bottom right-hand corner in the comment section. And Corey and Andy are gonna be answering your questions here on the broadcast. So get those questions submitted. I'm gonna turn it back over to Corey and Andy for the Q&A. So Corey, Andy, take it away.
Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be in the world. My name is Corey Brelling. I'm the International Sales Manager here at Aspen Avionics. And I uh, would like to thank you for joining us on our uh, second in the series of our webinar. It's unfortunate we are not able to meet each other in person. At Oshkosh, um, as the International Sales Manager here at Aspen, I always look forward to seeing uh, my customers from around the world at uh, various trade shows such as Sun and Fun, Oshkosh. Um, but obviously we can't do that this year. So this is the uh, next best alternative. So we're into the Q&A session right now. And uh, Andy and I are going to kind of go back and forth and field uh, most of the questions that have been posted here online. Um, as you can imagine, as the international sales manager, I deal with people from around the world. And we have a question from uh, Ray Bush in California, um, which is a very valid question. He said, will a rebroadcast be available? The schedule time is not so good for us in the working world. Um, so Ray, what I'll be doing uh, for the international market is I'll be doing several uh, rebroadcasts of the webinar and live Q&A. So you can, um, you can chime in or join any one of those and uh, I'll be doing them early in the morning, in the evening. So hopefully you can find a time that's uh, convenient for you. Over to you, Andy. All right. Thanks, guys. I know you just listened to about 20 minutes of me going um and uh, and stumbling through things. So um, I'm going to try to do a little bit better on these on these questions. So I'm just going to grab one from the top here. Um, let's see. Oh, they're just coming in, <laughs> coming in faster. Um, so, uh, John Fallis from, uh, Alabama here, the cost to add AOA and ADSB to an existing max MFD. Um, so each unlock is a uh, list price of $595. Uh, we, we changed our pricing structure a little bit and reduced the pricing down for you guys to make it a little bit more reasonable to get the data in front of you. So, uh, $595 will get you uh, an AOA display and ADSB. Now that's per unlock per screen kind of deal. So uh, those will be available. Just get with your dealer and they'll they'll take care of you. Corey? All right. So I'm going to take a question from uh, Finn Anderson from Denmark. Um, I think I've spoken with Finn before. Um, Finn states the E5 is approved for replacement of the vacuum system. Will that come with the Pro Max as well? Uh, Finn, this is actually a certification issue um, and has to do with the dual Aiding AHARs. Um, and so you are correct. The E5 is approved um, where it does not require a backup attitude indicator. However, in order to do that with a Pro Max, what you would need to do is you would need to add an MFD 1000 with the external backup battery so that can uh, back up the Pro Max PFD. And again, that's a certification issue. Um, we're talking non-TSO'd on the E5 versus TSO certified equipment on the Pro Max. So currently we do have a requirement to have a second uh, display with an external backup battery in order to remove um, the requirement for a standby attitude, thus uh, allowing you to remove the vacuum system on the aircraft. Andy? Uh, this goes out to Joseph Allen in, in, in regards to class three units. Uh, you have a couple questions on here. First, we are slated to get a class three unit out next next year, a class three max unit that has the, the higher refresh rate and everything that we went over. As far as the program, uh, there is no doubt that we're going to have a trade in trade up program or trade to new program kind of deal. I am not sure the full details of that right now. But as we approach the the release date of of the C3 Max, we will we'll reach out to you guys and and let you know what is uh, what's going on with that and how how it's going to benefit you, Corey. All right, so we'll take a question here uh, from John Fallis from Alabama. Um, cost just to add an AOA and ADSB to existing max MFD and just add ADSB to the PFD. 
So what you're looking at here, John, is um, to add AOA um, would be $595, uh, and to add uh, ADSB, it depends on which ADSB in system you have, and that will determine the price. It could be anywhere from free of charge to $795. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. All right, so I'll take a question from uh, Peter Davies from the Isle of Man. Um, and this is a very common uh, question that we get. Um, last year, I upgraded the software on my GTN 650 to give VNAV functionality. However, my Pro Max does not display VNAV uh, for me to follow. I understand there's a compatib compatibility issue with the Garmin proprietary format. Have you been able to make any progress with this issue? And what I'll say, Pete, is um, engineering on the Aspen side is very aware of this issue. And Aspen is very eager uh, to get a solution for this issue. And I will say that this uh, issue is very, very high on the engineering uh, priority list. Uh, I can't give you an exact time frame, but we are definitely working on that. All right, let's see. Richard Steele from Houston here. Uh, you have an ADSB in the you you will be able to display ADSB information from a GDL eighty eight. So uh, you'll be able to to pump that information and display that over no problem. I think we've pretty much addressed all the uh, questions here, Andy. Can you find any that uh, that still need to be addressed? I know there's a lot of uh, um, common questions. We're getting a lot of questions, but there are a lot of common questions. So um, yes, sir. I think we may have addressed let, the majority of them. Yeah, let me get on this one with from uh, William Fry up in, in Minnesota okay. uh, real quick uh, as far as the uh, some METAR flags that he had, uh, had uh, asked about. So we actually display information from a third party, so it doesn't re directly get received to our unit. So we're only receiving information that it's being told to us. So I you would have to dig in a little bit deeper why we're not getting that for your specific airport. Um, it may be something to do with the, the ADSB network or, or something like that. So we'll continue to dig on that and hopefully that information will be, be there soon. Excellent. And again, this is uh, Corey, um, everyone. So if you're watching the rebroadcast of this or if it was not at an ideal time for you, I will be doing uh, multiple uh, rebroadcasts for the international market. So hopefully you can jump on one of those and uh, there will be a live q and I'll be live on there. So uh, we'll be happy to answer uh, any questions you might have. And then as far as any other questions, I'll be following up with a direct email for you guys because um, I know there was a whole bunch on here. So I'll be reaching out to you with your registered email that you got on and answering your questions specifically. Uh, if we overlooked, missed, because they just kept coming in, coming in, coming in, uh, then you'll have your my contact information was up on the on the presentation. You can contact me directly either by phone or email. I'm here to help anytime. All right. Well, thanks for joining us here, guys. I appreciate it. Hopefully it was uh, worth your time. Hopefully you learned something. Again, uh, sorry we're not going to see you at Oshkosh, but uh, that's the way things are right now. We're trying to do the uh, the next uh, best thing. So appreciate everyone joining us. We had a good crowd today and uh, feel free to contact uh, either Andy or myself or in, any of our sales guys, any, any of our field service engineers. And uh, we're always here to help you guys. So thank you uh, for flying Aspen. We appreciate it.